What's up, Rangers? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve, and today we're going to destroy some value with some WWE figures. Uh, Mattel specifically. Uh, with the Elite Series in ring carts of Andre the Giant and Randy Savage from the WrestleMania line. And the Elite Bailey. Uh, main reason I picked these up, I've been kind of picking up some wrestling figures here and there. And these guys are kind of from, like, my golden era of W... Like, especially, like, WWE, WWF. Um... Because I really like the stuff from like the 80s. 90s is more WCW and then 2000s we were back in action with WWE. Um, so I wanted to get these guys. Uh, that I thought was cool that they had the ring stands and definitely wanted an, an Andre at some point in the collection. Uh, Randy, I kind of wish it was a different version. Like I really want to make a Powers one at some point. Um, but still looked cool enough. And then Bailey, I'm trying to complete the four horsewomen. So now I just need a Sasha, and then I'm pretty much good until they make like a fiend Asuka. <laughs> Not Asuka. Um, Alexa. You know, she's one of my more favorite female wrestlers. I just, I don't know, I haven't really dug much of the figures. Um, but Heel Bailey was best Bailey. Then I thought it was cool. It came with the deflating, wacky, inflatable tube, man. So, anyways, we're going to crack these guys open. Sadly, Macho Man's package is already banged up, so these will be. Uh, getting pitched afterwards. Although I kind of wish he would have had the headband. But anyways, we'll start with Bailey. We'll save the other two because I'm a little bit more excited about those. Um, but still want it. And found these in stores because, like I mentioned in the previous videos, I don't like wrestling figures. Like I don't mind picking up periodically whenever I see something I like. But they're not usually figures I tend to order. And I was thinking about ordering a Bailey. But because when I was doing that order, I saw that they had her, but they wanted a little bit more money to find her in stores, so I was like, ah, I guess I'll wait. And then, and lo and behold, I was able to get a hold of one. But, anyways, she comes with a pair of gripping hands. On the figure, you get a pair of clenched fish. She's kind of a little messed up. Hold on a second. Um. So you have that. Probably gonna... I think I'm gonna have the gripping hands. I kind of want her beating the wacky inflatable tube guy. I think that's how she's gonna be displayed. <laughs> so. Get both of these on so she can double fist it. Eh, maybe. If I don't break them anyways. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, I just noticed he's actually, it's de it's deflated already. Sad. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was kind of upright, like he's like, help me. <laughs> but he's, he's already gone. Sad day. Maybe we could try to prop him up against something and get him bending a little bit. <laughs> just to make him look a little bit more defeated. I guess it kind of works like a better as like a little display. But... Get her, maybe. Hold both of these. And I try anyways, there we go. So, got her holding the stick so she can smack the crap out of it. Uh, detailing, I always, like when I initially saw this one, like images of this one, I really like this look. Um, it's probably one of my more favorite Bailey looks with the shorter hair, plus like the gold ring attire. Always sells really nice. And you got like it says Bailey on the front here. Legs look good. Like the boots got the little star on the side. Same on the opposite side here as well. Yeah, not too shabby. Like I guess I kind of wish the two man was a little bit more up because I wanted it to make it more look like she was murdering him. Guess I could maybe sit on its side, but uh, yeah, he'll probably just he'll just be laying there on the shelf. I wonder if you can kind of cram her feet in here, just uh, eh, don't look like it. Just to maybe help hold her up a little bit better. Oh, well, I guess that kind of works. Kind of. <laughs> but pretty sweet. Digging that one overall so far. Um, I guess we'll move on to Andre. I think between the two, this is the one I'm most pumped about. Also, I'm kind of scared. I don't know where I just set my knife at. Alright, whatever. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Yeah. 
like I mentioned, we ain't keeping the packaging. Don't think I care enough. Oh, but I do need some clippers. I seen those though. Holy crap, there's so much plastic. All right, so it looks like we got a free Andre first. It's hard to do this while also looking at the camera. There we go, all right, Andre's free. Next. Rip that out. Rip. Yeah, that out. Snippities, snippities. Good to go. Uh. Rotate this up a little bit. I'm being super violent with this. Don't mind me. There we go. Get that little band back here. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's on wheels. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think if I remember right, there was like a... Like they came into the ring in these one time. I can't remember what that taught me. Also, that's this copyright 2020. Anyways. <laughs> The only thing that kind of scary is this, like, if you're shelf like his little angle, he's gonna be like, wee. But anyways, ring's pretty sweet. Like you've seen, the ropes are actually adjustable. They're just uh, essentially just rubber. On these guys, we do get like the metal grating on the bottom, so it's not really like a ring per se. It's more or less like a stage the way it's set up. But it's got the old. Like WWE logos and like the WWF style for Andre. One thing I thought was really cool about this figure is the head sculpt, which looks really solid. I actually think this is probably like one of the more accurate looking ones I've seen, especially like the hair too. Looks really good. One thing is, is I think he actually looks a little lean, especially in the arms. So like, uh, I shouldn't say lean, small. Like, he looks actually a little bit more muscular than I quite remember Andre. But he's got his little singlet here. On the back. And that's pretty much about it. Just some black boots. Andre wasn't too crazy. Um, but overall, pretty solid figure. Um, so looks like you peg him in right around here. So you got like two options. You could peg him in the front and in the back. Or I guess you could kind of do it at the side. But then, just kind of like have him gripping the ring ropes. Or something of the such. But pretty cool. Pretty pleased with that one. It's just like the muscle definition on the arms definitely kind of throw me off in relations to the body anyways. Um, yeah. Get Brandy Savage open up. A little bit of tape just make my life a little bit easier. Yeah. Rip this bad boy open. Watch out. Throw stuff behind me. Snip these. Kind of know what we're doing this time around. But I use the word kind of very loosely. I like how they use like different little secure tabs depending on where he's located at. Oh jeez, he's still got one hooked to his arm. How many do you need to attach a Randy Savage to a package? Jesus. I was gonna say, do these actually come out? Or is that just literally like how, how we got it out? It's actually supposed to be how I was supposed to get this out. It's just muscling it out of here. Ugh. And same thing, popped out the little road. Ah, uh, Stan, literally the same. Macho man here. He's got a little rubber band holding his glasses in, so let's Get that off. Looking pretty good. I assume these, yep, these slide off. Real, the madness, yeah. Um, Body looks nice. Got the Macho Man on the back of his trunks. Got the stars on the front. Yellow knee pads with white. Yellow boots with the stars. Looks pretty good, pretty good. Again, 
<laughs> kind of wish he maybe had a little bit more going on with them, because especially like the way this is kind of set up. Although I do like the glasses actually seem like they stay out pretty well. Which is great for like display purposes and what have you. Oh, I just realized he doesn't. Wait a second. These guys can go in and out. Randy can only go forward and back, but he's got a knee bend. The hell? Was Andre like that? Wasn't paying attention? Oh yeah, Andre I guess is like that too. Oh, huh. so I guess they're not quite elites. I was gonna say, I didn't think the basics had knee articulation. Hmm. <laughs> Looks cool anyways. Great, it's not like I was gonna be posing this guy like all crazy anyways. Like he was just gonna be standing in that thing calling it a day. Um, just kind of wanted like a cool representation of like 80s Macho Man in my collection. Um, which I think this will do the trick pretty nicely. It's just surprised I didn't notice that when I was looking at it in the package. I was like, I thought he was just like a regular elite and good to go. <laughs> but I guess not. Uh, between the bunch, I actually kind of like, I think a Bailey is probably my favorite. Just because again, I really like that. Yeah, I'm excited about the tube man there. Uh, then probably like Andre and then Mach. Like out of the all of them, like Mach is usually my favorite wrestler, but just like as figure wise. Um, he's probably the more basic of the set here anyways. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like to keep up the date with channel and donate. We greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.